Good morning. Good morning, Honorable President. Uh, welcome, Mr. Director General and uh, members of delegation. I'm very glad to see you. I'm very glad that you are visiting us uh, with your delegation. We are very satisfied with the level of partnership between FAO and Azerbaijan and the uh, agreement which was signed seven years ago uh, actually created a new format of our cooperation and we hope that in the coming years we will continue this fruitful partnership. Especially now in uh, these uh, difficult times when uh, issues related to food security become more and more important for every country including Azerbaijan, uh, because uh, despite our uh, growth in export of agricultural products, we're still uh, recipients of uh, agricultural products. Uh, therefore, our future plans and um, general the regional uh, development with respect to food security, I think, should be important to discuss to address the new challenges. Also, one of the issues which I also wanted to raise during our meeting is our plans with respect to the agricultural development in the liberated territories. Uh, as a result of the uh, liberation of territories of Azerbaijan, we uh, now are in an active phase of development of those lands with respect to infrastructure, including agricultural development because the agricultural potential in the liberated areas are uh, really very impressive. It's a very diverse uh, nature, uh, climatic zones, and uh, opportunity to increase significantly our production, and uh, for domestic consumption and for export. We are now in the phase of uh, planning of agricultural development in the liberated territories. And therefore, your valuable recommendations will be highly appreciated. Uh, in general, uh, agricultural development in Azerbaijan uh, is uh, one of the priorities for our government because first, it's uh, food security, which is important now for every country, maybe more than several years ago. And second for us, it's important part of our non-energy related export, uh, which is growing. And uh, three months of this year, growth in non-energy export in Azerbaijan was 45%. And of course, it's uh, important for employment because almost half of our population uh, live in rural areas. Therefore, agriculture for these people is the main source of the income. Uh, probably you know about our reforms, about the subsidies, about the support the government provides to farmers. Farmers are free from uh, any taxes, including land tax, and also um, soft uh, low interest loans, which we provide for farmers. All this creates uh, opportunities for rapid development of agriculture, but of course, we need to plan everything properly, especially now after liberation of territories, and to apply uh, modern technologies. So there'll be a lot of things to discuss, and I'm really very glad that we have this opportunity to talk and um, to see what else we can do jointly. So welcome once again, and wish you a pleasant stay in Azerbaijan. Thank you, Honorable President. And also, I'm so delighted to come to your diversified, beautiful, well-located in the world. It's a, a unique country. I'm so delighted to be in your country, not only because of your unique uh, location and the, and the good, big potential of agro food systems and the rural development. And uh, your strong leadership, uh, agro e commerce or uh, digital uh, agriculture and the food. And 
digital rural development is something special. I would like to promote and share with the rest of the world and the members, especially who are uh, sizable, uh, similar to the, uh, your country, Azerbaijan. Qudong Yunbakıda kesilən gələcəyə baxış rəqəmsal kənd təsərrüfatına keçid mövzusundə beynəlxalq konfransın önəmini vurğuladı. Ölkəmizə səfər edirək bu tədbirdə şəxsən iştirak etməsindən məmnunluğunu bildirdi. BMT-nin Ərzaq və Kənd Təsərrüfat Təşkilatının baş direktoru dedi. Beləliklə hesab edirəm ki, bu bizim üçün sizdən, həmkarlarımızdan öyrənmək baxımından yaxşı fürsətdir.